Let's talk about attack and release times in Highfall. Highfall is constantly recalculating the attack and release times based on the input signal. So the more gain reduction you do, the faster and faster it gets. The variable attack and release times is what's unique about Highfall. So when you set the threshold, the goal is to set it in a way that the attack is operating slow for the majority of the song and then fast for brief moments. Now you'll see that the attack and release times have fast and slow options. This changes the acceleration speed. So the timings are similar of how fast it gets and how slow it gets, but how quickly it jumps into it is what we're adjusting. Now, if you're watching these gain reduction bulbs, you're noticing that first they're pulsing because they're continuous, but what you'll notice is that the speed of the bulbs gets faster and faster the more gain reduction you're doing. So if I set it so that I'm at 6 dB, that 6 dB light goes on quickly and goes off quickly. This is now showing you the variation in the attack and release times as it scales gain reduction. On a full mix, I usually start with a slow attack and a fast release because that allows the most amount of the transients to pop through. I'll then set the threshold and then decide if I want it to clamp down a little bit more, I'll move to a fast attack. And if I want it to be a little bit more loose and open, I'll leave it at slow. When I'm adjusting the release, I generally start with a fast release so it jumps back into the slow attack and release as fast as possible. But if I'm working with a slower song or something that I want to be more gentle and open, I'll use a slower release. Let's take a listen real quick. <laughs> You can see that the speed of the gain reduction increases when I go from a slow attack to a fast attack. Generally, when you're set to fast attack and fast release, you'll notice that the mix will sit at zero dB of gain reduction for the majority of the song, but then it will jump down quickly, do gain reduction, and then get out of the way and hover again at zero dB. Let's watch that happen. <laughs> You can see it jump down to 3 dB and then get out of the way really quickly. Let's switch to slow attack and see how gentle it approaches these spikes in the high frequencies. <laughs> So this approach will be more forgiving because it's generally doing a much more relaxed acceleration. When I get back to fast attack, fast release, it's gonna jump in much more and it's gonna stay at zero dB more often. <laughs> That's it for now. Until next time.